What's up, Dub Nation? It's your boy, King A Dub, aka King Alan Alexander, on all social medias. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Make sure you guys go to my Facebook.com backslash King A Dub and Facebook.com backslash A Dub Productions. Like and follow both pages. And take a moment, give this video a thumbs up real fast so it can help out the algorithm and move it up in the rankings and whatever. So, I'm in the lab right now, guys, and I'm pressing up a whole bunch of shirts. I want to show you guys what I'm up to. I'm, uh, this one thing is for a client. This is a breast cancer awareness emblem that's going to go on a shirt. And it says, or right here, it says 10 years strong for mom. And the other one says um, 10 years strong. And what else I'm doing, I'm pressing up, redoing all of, not all of them, but I'm still gonna wear ones like this, but redoing most of the um, YouTube A-Dub production shirts and flock HTV. So it's gonna be like the fuzzy type of material and I'll be giving away some shirts. So you guys make sure you stay tuned for how you can win some of these shirts and instructions. Here's some black bears, some new black bears coming up. Um, and oh yeah, now Vicky, your shirt is gonna be sent off in the mail tomorrow. And we're pressing on soft style next level shirts. Matter of fact, these are the women's. I meant to grab some men's, so I'm gonna go in the other room and grab some men's. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, just watch along. Make sure you guys use the links um, in the description section anytime you're ordering anything on Amazon, guys. So just watch along as I press up some shirts. All right, guys, we're gonna be doing some major pressing. So the main one thing I'm gonna do is warm up my platen just a little bit, just to get a little mushy and ready for the pressage. Now I'm gonna grab one of my next level shirts right here and place place it upon the heat press you know what i didn't even cut the design off yet so i'm gonna have to do that real fast but so let me uh cut the design real fast go in the drawer and get my cutting tool my um exacto knife and grab my ruler handy dandy ruler all links to products down in the description below and take these two YouTubes these two tubes rather and cut them split them apart right here right down the middle boom split them apart like that now I'm going to remove this A-Dub Productions from this I can do this freehand I don't need to use a ruler gonna cut through making sure I don't cut any of the uh, of the design if I did it'll be ruined stuff like this you got to be real careful doing so I got my if you guys can picture that I got my U A Dub Productions and that's gonna go here YouTube A Dub Productions well I'm not even on camera so I got YouTube A Dub Productions that's gonna go on the shirt all right, we're back over at the shirt. We're gonna give it one, one press real fast just to flatten out the garment and get all the moisture out. I got the air conditioner on in this room, so garment might be a little cold. So let's press it out, get all the moisture out. Nice and flat, smooth surface. Now we're gonna put it in the center like so. We're gonna emulate like the tube is on there, which it's not. I could just put everything on here actually, you know what? I think I might just do that. YouTube ADA Productions, bring your length away. That looks pretty good to me. Is that in the center? Let's see. I think that's in the center, guys. Even if it's not, I mean, what these shirts are meant to be is not perfect, so it's okay. I'm gonna be wearing them while doing videos for you guys. And I just wanted something a little more dope, a little more stylish, and I also wear these shirts out. So I want people to, you know, them to be a little more attractive. That's why I wanted to put, do them in flock HTV as opposed to just a regular HTV. Wanted something a little bit more upscale. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to line up these, the bottoms of these letters to the bottoms of these letters because they're the same size. So that's what I'm doing with my eyes right now. And that looks straight and lined up the top of this is lined up the top of that right there. All right, we're gonna shut the clamshell down on this one. Let's see how it comes out. I didn't put any Teflon on it. 
I'm gonna leave it down for uh, about 30 seconds. It's gonna stop at 15, because I got this set to 15, but I'm gonna raise it up and put it back down again. Up, like I said, and back down again. Do a 30 second press for this Flock HTV. Well, two 15 second presses, I guess you could say. Boom, 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 boom. All right, that's two 15s. Boom. Let it chill for one moment. Just so that it's not hot on my hands. And then let's see if it starts to peel off. Peeling off nice and good. Nice and easy like. Looking good. And I got my boy Christian. Christian, say what's up. Yo. I got my boy Christian in the background. I'm gonna let him. Back in the studio, man. I'm gonna let him tell you guys what the shirt looks and feels like. I think it's butter. I'm gonna press it one more time because I like to make sure it's embedded inside of the material. And this Flock HTV, you can press. It's great, right? Yeah, you can press directly on top of this Flock HTV, but I'm gonna put down some te another Teflon sheet over top just to protect it a little bit because it's freshly pressed. I'm gonna hit it off for another couple of seconds. Make sure it's embedded and it's not going anywhere, which it's not because I've done this before, but I just like to make sure it's in there, in the sunken place, you know? Well, the shirt is uh, top-notch quality, man. Feels good. Feels good. You know, it's one of those stretchy type shirts. What about the design, though? What do you notice about the design on the shirt? The, actually, you could touch it. The design is raised. It's raised? It's not a typical, regular, cheap print. It's raised, high quality raised. And uh, it's, um, what material is this? It's, it's soft. It's soft. What would you describe that as? I call it fuzzy. Oh, well, I mean, as far as the touch, yeah, it's definitely fuzzy, but it's, it's high quality, man. It's raised. Yeah. It's not, a, it's, not it's not BS stuff, right? No, not at all. That's right, boy, you got the YouTube.com backslash A-Dub Productions. YouTube A-Dub Productions, new shirt. High quality. High quality, man. You know what I mean? I like to try to get you guys a close up of the fuzziness of the flock. Flocked HTV. I love this stuff, man. So, this is not the regular shirt. It's not like this. If you guys compare it to the shirt that I have on, you guys can clearly see the difference. This is vinyl, which you can also press back on if it starts to raise up after a few washes. You can put a towel over top of it and lay it back down with an iron. This right here, you can iron directly on it because it's flocked HTV. Links to this product that you can buy on Amazon will be in the description of this video if you guys wanna buy some flocked HTV. Like Christian said, it's raised. So, cause you can feel the texture. I mean, vinyl is kinda raised too cause it's sitting on the shirt, but this like, it's like a material on top of material. And like I said, um, I've had flock HTV shirts that I've had, I've washed for a thousand, I won't say a thousand, but like a whole lot of times and it's never came off. And I think partially it's because you can iron straight over top of them. So every time you iron straight on top of them, you're essentially putting this uh, heating design back on the shirt. So it's not going to come off. Let me know how you guys think this looks in the comment section down below. I think it's fly. It's hard for me to, um, angle, angle this when it, okay, here we go. Shirts came out great guys, still got a lot more to press so I'm gonna piece myself out. Just wanted to show you guys what I was up to today. I highly recommend considering using Flock HTV as an alternative to regular HTV. You can give, you, you can give your customers a choice and price those items a little bit higher 
to incorporate the cost of the flock HCV because it is a little bit more expensive than a regular HCV, but I guarantee they will have, they'll be happier with the flock HTV as, a, as opposed to the regular HTV because they can iron right over it and it looks more professional, looks more clean and it stands out more because you don't see a lot of people wearing flock HTV like I do, hence why I wanted to replace all my regular HTV YouTube shirts with flock HTV YouTube shirts. Guys, links down in the description to everything that I talked about, everything that I showed you guys. Make sure you guys are using the links. Make sure you guys go to facebook.com backslash king adub and facebook.com backslash adub productions. Like, follow both of those pages. Also follow me on Instagram at King Allen Alexander. It's your boy, man. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and I'm out. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby?